Security, it's what we all want, whether that's within our own homes, on our computers, or with our money. The topsy-turvy market conditions of the past few years has led us to question many aspects of conventional wisdom. For example, are developed markets really safer than emerging ones? We heard from New Sparta's Dr. Jerome Booth, who clearly believes that isn't the case. Risk is like a, it's a four-letter word. It's, it means 17 different things. It's certainly not as simple as volatility. And one of the things I'm, I, I stress a lot is one should be clear about what your assumptions are and then work out whether in this environment today it's a valid assumption. Is it a valid assumption when you're thinking about a certain piece of your, piece of your allocation that uh, volatility in this market at this time is a good proxy for risk or not? What's the perception of that uncertainty? What's the perception of the risk? You know, are people hurting? You know, these are all the questions which a lot of investors actually do think about as rules of thumb, but it's not really, it's not really codified. Um, we all know that a lot of people, the moment they come out of their, their finance course, they, they don't use any of it. <laughs> I invest a lot of my money in emerging markets, always have done. And I don't do that because uh, you know, I'm, I'm just high risk individual. It's exactly the opposite. For me, the high risk, highly correlated, even though they're low probability, uh, or you know, maybe not central core uh, scenarios, but the really high risk events with huge global contagion are basically developed world risks. I think alternatives do um, represent a hedge against the uh, herd mentality, mainly at the moment because they haven't been embraced um, fully by people, so I think that will increase as time goes on. I certainly see the alternative as, as one of the options within the multi-asset portfolio. How can we source uncorrelated returns in a way that can allow us to sleep easily at night? CityWise Head of Research Jonathan Miller unearthed the data that proved that in an ever more complicated world, alternative usage strategies are gaining traction. Within flows from active managers, all USITs and equities were actually head-to-head -head over the last couple of years. The area is maturing and investors are looking for solutions that meet their diversification requirements. When we looked at all USITs itself, assets aren't far off 200 billion euros. In terms of trends, I identified that US appetite is growing. I think uh, the alternative uh, USITs sector is going to be growing going forward. A lot more retail people are able to access it and therefore it's all good news. We wouldn't necessarily see them as a, as a lower risk alternative, um, but certainly there are boxes that are ticked there which we would um, we'd have to look at more closely with a, with a hedge fund that, uh, that, that maybe we can uh, take a bit more as, as, as a given for the, the alt usage space. The harsh reality is that in a globalised world, many of our cosy assumptions no longer hold true and security and peace of mind are becoming ever harder to achieve. The attacks emanating from Russia on financial institutions in New York and London have tripled, even quadrupled. Cyber is now part of geopolitics, so you have to understand what's going on geopolitically if you're going to defend yourself properly. There's a very, very difficult terrain out there for everyone to deal with, but it is manageable, provided companies take this issue very seriously and learn from the great master Sun Tzu. Know your enemy and you will survive. Error. System encountered minor infection. At least one thing's certain. Being vigilant and doing your homework has never been so important. <laughs>